are going to learn how to find different parts of a parabola using RTI and Inspire in the graphing mode. So we are going to base everything out of a graph. So for uh, steps that we're going to take, we are going to use the graph part in the scratch pad, or you could use a graphing page into a document. I just feel more comfortable with the scratch pad, so that's what we're going to use. But the steps that we will follow, it will apply to either of them. So we select graph. And the first thing that we see is what is asking you for a, your equation. So we are just going to start with an example. I'm going to start with 2x squared minus 3. So this is my first parabola. And what I want to find from this parabola are two main things. I want to find if it's the maximum or minimum, which in this one, we can tell that this is going to be a minimum, and then the zeros. I selected this one on purpose because you can tell that there's going to be some decimals here. So the t is very useful when something like this happens. So we're going to start with the minimum, and all that we have, we are going to go right now is to our menu button. We see our menu. And we see that option number six, it's analyze graph. Now this is really helpful because in the moment that you put analyze graph, you can immediately see what do you want to find, zero, minimum, or maximum. In this case, we're going to start with the minimum because that's what our parabola has. And this right here, what it is, is the, it's asking you to define where in which area of your graph you want to look for a minimum. Now, it is important that you understand that your minimum point has to be inside the box that we will draw. Uh, draw. So it's asking me for a lower bound. It doesn't matter how uh, far or close to the minimum point you start from, as long as you start before and then you pass it with your upper bound or the end of the box. So right here, I know that this 0, negative 3 will be my minimum point. Now in the same parabola, I should be able to find zeros. I can tell that my parabola has two zeros right here, two x-intercepts, which is exactly the same, or two roots. So we're going to go again to menu. Again, we're going to go to analyze graph. And then you can tell that zero is the first option. Now here, be careful since you have two. This is where it comes in handy what you are doing with your lower and upper bun or the beginning or end of the box, however you want to call it. Because since you have two, you have to define where you're going to find the first one. And that will be one of your zeros. But for the second one, you will have to do it again. So menu, analyze graph, zero. And there's the second one. Now remember, if you uh, happen to put both, it won't work. You have to do one at a time. So let's try to do this again from the beginning. So I'm going to erase everything, scratch uh, dot B. I'm going to go to my graph. I'm going to use this very example this time. I'm going to go with negative x squared plus 2. So here I can see that my parabola has a maximum. So when, if I want to find my maximum, I'm going to start obviously again, menu, analyze graph. But now instead of minimum, I select the maximum. And don't forget, you need to draw, uh, start with your lower and upper bound being your maximum point inside this terms. So I'm going to go from here to here. And I know that my maximum is 0, 2. Now I'm going to look for my zeros, same as we did before. Menu, analyze graph, 0. And we're going to do one at a time. First, we're going to do this one. There's my first zero. Then again, menu, analyze graph, zero again, and I do my second one. There's my second zero. Simple as that. So remember, you do still have to be able to identify if what you have is a minimum or a maximum. So I want to do one uh, more example. Let me do dot B to start again. And I want to show you uh, this one y equals, we're going to do a fraction, 1 half of x squared. 
Now, when you see this, you can immediately tell that this one doesn't have a zero. So I'm going to show you what's going to happen there. So first, we're going to find our minimum. Menu, Analyze Graph, Minimum. It's zero, zero. It happens that if you, let's say that you don't make the connection that this is not only the minimum, but as the zero as well. When you go and try to look for a zero, you're going to get exactly the same. The Inspire is pretty much telling you that they are the same. It'll just label it twice. So uh, I get this question all the time, what happens when we have uh, a problem with no zero? So let me erase everything again. We're going to go with one last example. Negative 2x squared minus 3. So I can tell that this parabola has a maximum, but no zero. So if I want to look for the maximum, no, no difference, I still go menu, analyze graph, maximum, draw my lower and upper bond, there it is. But if by mistake I do a zero, so let's do this menu, analyze graph, zero, and you draw your bond, you will get that it will tell you there were no zeros found in the specified bounds. In other words, in the limits that you give it, there's no zeros. So if that happens, it's just that your parabola has no zeros.